Hi, my name is Linda Melvin and I work with Fluid Watercolors. In the past videos, I've worked with The Delusions. I've worked with The Radiance of Dr. P.H. Martin. And we touched on hydrants last week. So this time we're going to add one. We're going to add the Bombay inks, which are wonderful. They're very color fast, but once they're on, you don't move them the way you can the other paints. So I'm going to begin, and I'm going to wet my paper down. We all know how I love to wet my paper down and get everything nice and wet. Do it on both sides. And today also we're going to learn how to make more texture. Texture is something that is very important to keep the eye moving. So I'm going to begin the way I always do. I usually start with the Delusions paints and I spray them. And we can see how much movement there is. Now this one, if you look, this is After Midnight. We all know After Midnight is my favorite, one of my favorite colors. It's a purple and it is great. And turquoise always works so nicely with um, purple. And this is 300 pound cold pressed paper by Arches. I just love to see how everything kind of works together and starts to move. And you never know. And you know, if you want to make something even move more and you have a little bit more fun. You can even have your towels go up and down and have them work with a different way. So I'm going to add some of this pretty color in and we're going to start making things move. Now, we know that these move real nicely and also these, um, these concentrated hydrants, they move really well too because they're a lot like the Delusion sprays, except for the fact that they are in a bottle. I love purples. Purples and pinks, they're happy colors. And you don't really know where anything's gonna go, so I just lay them down and then you can watch them work. You can also spray them to give them lots of time to work. You can move them though too by using your eyedropper. And you can also pick them up and move them to other places. So these paints really move rapidly. So I'm gonna move this up a little bit. It seems like it's moving a little bit the wrong way. Now. Last week we were last time we worked with the hydras. We know that the hydras are a little bit heavier. So if something's heavier, you have to come in and you've got to have a lot more water to work with. So you can see because how do we know it's really wet? Because it has a glaze over it. And it's working down this way, which is really interesting. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add to it. Now the thing we know about these paints though also is it leaves sediment behind, doesn't it? But that sediment is just great to work with. Now I'm going to come up here a little bit with the turquoise. So I have put now in this and it's moving. You can see how it's starbursting. And if I don't want it to move too far, just a little bit with the water, I can come in in certain areas and just spray those areas to make them move. See how this one's moving now? I'm letting the water do the movement. Okay, so now we're going to come in with the Bombay inks. We know from before I used white. and When you drop it, it just goes everywhere. It's so great. And maybe I'll put it in here. Look how it is going to move. And it's blending with the other colors. So what would happen if, uh, that's white, right? It's made it really white. What if I come in now and add some of this color on top of it? Now the one thing we know about these colors is this. I can come in and I can put gauze or rice paper over it to make it work. 
but it's going to stay there. There's no way you can pick it up and move it to someplace else. It is in it because these are more color fast and they are work entirely different. So look at the movement. And the other thing you can do is, which is fun, you can come in on these if you want to make things move and you can add water by adding it to all of the places you want to make move more instead of spraying. Now this is quite interesting in here, isn't it? And I can even come in, I could pick this up like I do all the other times I come in and I can pick up and I can move it also. So what I said at the end, this we're, we've learned about the, the uh, Bombay inks this time to add to it, but we're going to work with texture. So what ways do we have to make texture? You can make texture another way by using wax paper. And you can just take that wax paper and rumple it all up and then take it and smooth it out and lay it in certain places. And maybe I want to pull some of that paint off. See how I'm pulling it off? And then I can come over here and I can pull it off. But see the residue left behind and it will come in all those spots. So maybe up here I'll do one and I will make the eye move with it. Maybe I'll come this way. But another great way to do it is with saran wrap. So I lay it down. And I take it and I curl it under to hold it. Now, do you have to just do this and do you have to cover the whole thing? No. I could have come in and just come across here and made a great statement that way. Or, so when I get finished with this and it dries and it takes a long time for it to dry, I will tell you, you're going to have texture here that is going to be different from the texture here. And look at this over here, how much intensity there's going to be there. And you can even take this and rumple it up more in certain spots to give more a more look, different look to it. When it finishes and it dries, all of this is going to have little creases in here. And then we'll enhance it to make it look like something we want it to, to look like. So for this time, this is as far as we can go with this piece. But I am going to turn it under and after I do that, I will turn it over this way so it's going to have an opportunity to be able to dry because this is where the drying comes from the back side. And it will take probably about three or four days for this to dry. So I want you to go and have fun. Everybody has saran wrap and wax paper in their cupboards, you know. And then this paper makes it so great too. So try 300 pounds. Try 140 pounds. They give you different looks completely. And go out and make today another masterpiece. Thank you so much.